Why can't we have trucks like this anymore? Oh yeah, chicken tax. Let's go drive on the pike in my tawny sided dike. 1991 Nissan D21 Hardbody. According to Wikipedia, here's how you drive a D21 Hardbody. You roll the 20-sided die, and you roll the die, but there are modifications based on the skills of the driver, whether it's dexterity, intelligence, or whatever, but then you add situational modifiers, and anyway, you roll the die, and if the number is greater than or equal to the difficulty class, then you get to drive the truck. If not, then you make a really bad Dungeons & Dragons pun that has nothing to do with the truck itself. Plus one. This is the type of truck that marketers and accountants will never let happen again. The D21 hard body lasts too long. It's too utilitarian. It's too well built. I mean, the whole truck is metal. Some plastic trim, but it's just for show. Also, the D21 is small, which for some neocon reason is a truck sin these days. My truck's bigger than your truck. I love Jesus more than you. My truck says so. Oh yeah, my truck protects the sanctity of marriage. This truck sin being too small. You can't buy small trucks anymore. I mean, yeah, there's the Chevy Colorado, but that's... Uh, that's kind of, I mean, that's mid-size compared to the 80s, or 90s. 1991 D21 Hardbody. If the bar on Saturday night is the grown-up version of a middle school cafeteria, then this truck is the grown-up version of the old die-cast Tonka pickup from the 1960s. This truck is for when you want muscle, but you don't want to work out. Also, this is a short bed single cab, which is even smaller, even by the metrics we use to measure dick sizes. But it's got larger than average tires, though, and that the previous owner put in, as well as an even bigger exhaust. Because if we're ever going to get a 28th Amendment to the Constitution, it's that every American should have the God-given right to compensate for shortcomings without judgment. But this is a deceptively powerful truck. It's four wheels of no means yes. If this truck were a co-worker, you'd report him to human resources just for clock in. Engine! Hello again, KA24E. Hello again, single cam 12 valve? Yes, three valves per cylinder. It's a straight four from the earlier S13s, here in a truck. Yep, S13 motor, in a truck. And in this truck, it's making about 135 horsepower at 5,200 RPM and 154 foot-pounds of torque at 3,600 RPM. The compression is lower in the pickup than it would be on the S13. In the D21 hard body, the KA24E is 8.6 to 1 rather than 9.1 to 1 on the S13. I apologize if I'm describing compression ratios incorrectly. Also, timing chain. Thank you. Also, the KA engine has a aluminum cylinder head and a cast iron block which displaces 2.4 liters or uh, 146 cubic inches, that's about what it comes to. Although modern aftermarket support is non-existent for this thing, this is still a truck you can count on, even without any crazy modifications. The D21 stands on its own merits. The hard body was also called the Datsun truck, because the D21 generation was a successor to the Datsun 720 line. Because the KA engine is... Uh, kind of the same to the old 720 engine that was in the trucks. Except, throttle bottle fuel injection replaced the computer-controlled carburetor. And I can't even begin to understand computer-controlled carburetors there. I mean, maybe Tony at Bruce Hens can explain them to me. They're weird. There's a reason a truck like this endures. And it's not because it got drop-dead good looks or a ton of features to recommend it. The hard body is it's very down-to-earth. It's a well-made truck. It doesn't feel old when you drive this. The only thing that feels weird is when you look at all the boxy dash components, right? Clutch is great, gearbox is great, shifts into four-wheel drive anytime you want. And you can see out of it. It is tinny, and it is a thin body. You can tell there's not much room between that inside the door and the outside of the door. As far as safety, well, just don't crash. No airbag. Later versions of this had an airbag, but this one doesn't. And in a modern age where everything falls apart within months of getting it, this counts for something. It's so tempting to want to off-road these things, and even some of the commercials back in the day touted it as a great 4x4 off-roader. And it was. 
And it is. But just like trying to find the old Toyota 4Runners, and if you find a hard body that hasn't been messed with and was just owned by some farm guy, not a bad investment these days. How do you invest in cars? Well, Matt Ferris said it really well on Joe Rogan's podcast. He says, find something that technology cannot make obsolete. There is no amount of modern truck technology that can make the D21 obsolete. It's a machine that isn't skirted by modern day red tape or bureaucracy. And we're going to see these machines keep going and going and going. Ah, the 90s. I'm gonna go touch myself. Here's the most normal truck that we have ever done. Here's to the Nissan four-wheel drive and all the bad sex we serve. 